There goes the friggin' camera. The card cannot be read. Crap. Anyway, as I was trying to say, um, they gotta put a new muffler on it, get her greased up. Apparently we got the famous Briggs-19 ignition coil problem, where you give her the gas and she dies, but she runs good at idle. So that's, uh, too bad. You know, just, considering we already got this nice box here, which must have been a toolbox or a ba potentially a battery box. Consider it looks like you had holes for a push-button starter and the amp meter. As for those two, I don't know. Maybe headlights. Maybe it was electric start at one point, but however, the engine paint matches the dash, so... Eh, no, no. Where would you put an electric starter? Actually, no. No, those brackets are space, right? For, or belt, right? For a Delco. Um, we'll put a muffler on it. I'm sure the tranny needs oil. She's whining pretty good, but maybe it just does that. Uh, the clutch, well, lack thereof, clutch, is pretty touchy, I'll say. Maybe I can do something about the bell. Uh, I can't tell if that wobbling's because the tires are going down, or... No, they're still up. Oh, wow, this is... Yeah, this is something else. Apparently, you see, the fenders were cream white, as with the hood. Here's some of the original decals. I'll see if I can't get those remade. This one's completely gone now. Should say seven horsepower down here. Uh, let's see, of course, Midland over here. This at one point obviously would have been your belt guide. You shift pattern, so high, intermediate, low, and if you play with it, that would be reverse. But I really can't get it to stay in gear over there. It's got to quirk. Pretty funky rear end in it. Remind me sort of of a David Bradley. And we're leaking something. Yeah, gear oil. Have to figure out what that is. And a lot of the, for some reason, the lug nuts are all coming out on it, so. I don't know what to think of. Hey, wait a minute. I don't know, what's this? What have we got here? Oh, is this a brake? got a drum over here. Let's see what it does. There's something going back. What the? There's another pulley under here. What the hell is this? Overdrive, maybe? Change sprockets. No, well, the sprockets don't change. I wonder what's going on under here. Mm, it's getting a little too late to run her tonight. Yeah, I ain't gonna run her tonight, but I guess that'll be the question of the night. What the heck does this do? Seems to be coming. Is that the transmission? On the other side here, let's see if I can see anything. Is an overdrive of some kind? There's a belt running off of it. Oh, wait a minute. A reverse of some kind? Reverse is pointing this way. Now, why the hell would that be a reverse? Why do we got leaks coming everywhere off of this thing? Coming. What the hell is this? A brake of some kind, maybe? Here's our steering gear. Not exactly what I was expecting. One thing I can take on is. Yeah, it's a brake! Look at that. Now that's exactly what that is. V-belt brake. And we got something over here. Boy. No, no, that'd be crazy. That'd be suicide on this thing. Alright, so this is a brake. Glad I know that. I didn't know <coughs> didn't know that. I was scared it's gonna roll over backwards there a few times on that wall. Alright, so that's obviously the brake. 
or lack thereof. It's our high pulley. So what the heck came off here? It'd be crazy to run the belt off that. No, not if you can't. There's no belt either. <coughs> Pretty damn well built machine, if I do say so myself. All right, so let's get that straight. Here's a brake. The lift, which for some reason rocks side to side. The whole um, foot pipe, foot peg that is. Uh, pretty straightforward uh, speed control system here. No cables to worry about. Very uh, Model T like, if I say so. Oh yeah, Model T like. Another BNS emblem here. Uh, upper hood, I'll read the tag off. Everything's a little crooked for some reason. I gotta figure that out. This is a Briggs and Stratton model 19, type number 7060-23, and serial number 582830. Obvious breaker point this to me is obvious. Uh, that insulator though. Uh, well, the worst comes to the worst. Throw a battery in here, put a car coil up in here somewhere, and get her going again. It'd be nice to fix the original system, but I don't know if that's going to happen, considering what I've heard about these. All in all, I'm very impressed. Oh, it does look like we're going to have to modify that slightly. And hope these bearings never go out. Keep them well greased. I think I can't figure out this. Yep. Um, one thing I can't figure out is what we had back here at one time on this rather loose pulley. Obvious chain. I don't know. The, the guy says this is original, and I'm a little skeptical, but considering the way this tractor's built, anything's possible, I guess. Uh, he says you can put that back to keep it in gear, and that's the only way I can keep it in gear, so maybe he's right. Boy, is this a machine. Yeah, no pun intended. So, we'll get some work done on her, and tomorrow we'll take her out and see what happens. So, bye all. Okay, so the first thing wrong. Er, missing. Yup. Okay, so, imagine that would have been a chain. The machine seems to move, so I guess that's our tensioner. I can't see any other real way for it to go. Yep. This looks like some kind of pivoting mechanism right here. Not that I know what the hell it's for. Oh. <laughs> obvious is obvious there. Uh, okay. So, the first thing we have to try and probably see about, however it works fine the way it is. A bit more of an update on the uh, old pup. We got the engine oil uh, drained. That was black as midnight and a lot of junk, uh, chunks, that is, came out with it. I gotta find a way to put an air filter on here. Normal ones don't fit because of this thing. Uh, got the steering pretty well freed up. Got the joints all tightened up. And I thought the oil looked a little funny, but pulled the plug off and pretty much all that came out was water. You can see it all in there. Ugh. And I gotta figure out this chain case. We got a grease fit in here. But down the bottom, uh, on the other side, We got a drain plug. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's a drain plug there. Now on snappers, I know you'd use that double zero grease, but obviously this ain't a snapper. Um, anyone got an idea that might have went in there? It's obviously a chain case. I'm gonna drain that because I'm sure it's full of water. The transmission got pretty hot on that for that one ride I took. It's actually still warm about an hour later. But we're getting that water out of there and I'm gonna put 80-90 in her. I'm almost getting a feeling she might take in 140, but 80, 90 is better than water, eh? So, tomorrow we'll... Oh, also, we gotta reset the governor because that's why she runs so fast. She doesn't even go down to idle, even in full down. So, tomorrow we'll get the governor working properly, too. I'd like to fire it up to work on that, but... No, can't do that. 
For now, I'm just going to run for a few hours, maybe not even that, just on old 1030. I have to get some of the crap out of the engine. Now I'll probably switch her over to just straight 30. It's saying to run class MS, oh, that backward lettering though, uh, 20 weight, or 10 below zero, or 10 for below 30. But, uh, I don't know, I'll just run 30 in it, I guess, unless anyone else has a good idea for what to run in this engine. I can't imagine it's too picky. So, that's our progress so far.